Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate database script with data by using MySQL Workbench. So if you have a small database that you would like to generate the script with data and then uh, you can use that script to create another database on the same server or different uh, servers. Uh, here, we will let's uh, go to the home page and then connect to one of the MySQL server. And we have different databases here. You can see one of the database TBIT and uh, then we have Tech Brothers IT and uh, other databases. Um, what we need to do from here, we need to go to server tab on top of it uh, and then go to the data export. Uh, and once we go there, first of all, we can select the database for which we would like to create the script. Uh, and uh, let's say in this case, uh, it is a TBIT database. Um, so that's our database. Uh, here you have selection for the tables. Uh, so if you want to unselect any table, you can exclude them. Now you have multiple options right here. So you want to just create the insert statements for that one that you can do it or you can uh, script uh, the structure and data or you can have a simply structure data only. So if you want to create a, maybe just empty database, you can use this one. If you want to create, a, you already have a database and you would like to just uh, script out the data, then you can use this. Uh, and uh, if you would like to create a new database with data, then you can uh, use the structure and data. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this one. Okay, select view, select tables, unselect, so you can uh, uh, use all that. You know, we don't have views here. Uh, and uh, that's why it's not showing any views uh, but uh, we have all the tables here if you have uh, store procedures you can uh, use them if you want to dump uh, create the script for events uh, if you want to create the scripts for triggers uh, you can uh, include them uh, here i have uh, i'm exporting to the uh, self-contained file that as that sql file uh, that's what i'm doing so go to the uh, this button here browse to the place uh, where you would like to create that file in my case uh, i'm okay with the desktop so i'm going to call this uh, tbit with data okay hit save and uh, this file will be created dot sql if you want to include the creator schema uh, definition in that that you can do it if you want to run the whole thing in one uh, uh, transaction that's also possible you can click right here and in our case it is fine because we don't have millions of rows or we have just maybe a couple thousand rows in these are tables okay so that's all for now here we can go ahead and say start export it will export it now the file is created so you can go to desktop and take a look i'm gonna go ahead and open this file so right here tbtit with the data that's created uh, I'm gonna open this file just uh, I have pasted the path and it opened in the MySQL workbench so you can see that we have a definition for create table or create database or schema then we have uh, different settings and uh, um, then uh, we have a create uh, drop table definition here and then uh, create table definition so first this is drop in a table if it exists then it will recreate it and now then uh, if we go further down there so we have uh, other tables uh, information such as we are employee table and then we are inserting the data into the employee table so you can see the values here okay so uh, this is how you can go ahead and uh, script out the entire database uh, with the data and uh, if you need to run it now let's uh, consider if we go back here and uh, if we want to delete the let's say you delete this uh, let me close and connect and uh, we go to the query here if uh, you want to delete it you can delete uh, or drop the schema here and if you will uh, drop now fine and uh, if you will go this uh, query just copy this i'm going to paste in that query window so paste it here and uh, we can run it so you can see that uh, it is running all those uh, different scripts uh, to create the database and then uh, inserting those uh, rows uh, let's uh, refresh our schema uh, tab here so we have schemas here refresh and you can see that tbit is created again and the uh, tables are created again let's uh, select the data from one of the table and you can see that data is uh, right there so this is how you will uh, uh, script the entire uh, database with the data in uh, mysql workbench and then you can run it later thanks very much for watching and i will see you guys uh, in next video